Good day, I'm Jimmy. What we have is a 2004 Wabash reefer trailer. 53 feet long. The refrigerator unit is running right now. We'll do a quick walk around and get back to the reefer unit in a minute. I think the video is the best way to really show what's going on to do because you get to see a walkthrough just like as I see it. Uh, we got the fuel tank right here. Up front. And we'll go back to the aluminum floor. And we'll do a quick walk back here. Look at the rear axles. Tires look like actually they're in fair condition. I would have to say they probably get you to uh, your shop, you're probably going to want to replace the tires. I'm not an operator, but from looking at the tires, that's what my thoughts would be. We'll get another view from the back right here. The motor immediately starts up. It gets super cold. It's uh, close to 90 degrees today in Oakland, California. And we've had the unit on about 15 minutes. And we'll check the temperature in just a minute. And open the back door. One second on the video. All right, we're going to take a walk through the unit here. Ah. Yes, it's quite cold in here. I can almost see my breath. The unit is a police impounded, unclaimed vehicle. The winning bidder of the auction will get California lien sale paperwork in which to apply with the DMV for a new title. Any taxes, registration are handled at the Department of Motor Vehicles. There's a little tear up here. Looks like maybe a pallet hit it. And we're getting a good amount of air through that. So, pan back this side now. The floor looks pretty good. I'm going to put the camera on the floor and we'll move from the right side to the left side. People like to see how straight it is. I didn't see any major dips or buckles throughout. That's what one customer was, was asking about. shot coming in the other way. If you're out of the state of California, check with your Department of Motor Vehicles to see if they accept California lien sale paperwork. If they don't, then you probably have to get it registered here before you take it out of the state. They like to collect their tax revenue. All right, we're gonna put the camera back on the floor and look at it the other direction. There you go, and I'm gonna try to walk and not get you or myself too dizzy. That should provide a good idea of um, the trailer. All right, now I'm gonna hopefully not fall out of the trailer. And we're going to lock it back up, walk around the other side, and we'll get up to the motor. There you go. One more peek from this side as we're going through. We're going to look underneath. Tires. Got the tires again. And this side. So the my opinion that you'll need new tires. I already mentioned that. Alrighty. Let's see if we get some light up here. I'm gonna walk through just like this so you guys can get a quick peek of uh, the underneath there. We're gonna step out just for a minute. There was a repair, looks like right here. 
Um, but the people who looked at it said there was actually nothing underneath that could show of any issues. So just wanted to let you know there. All right, back again. I've been here for 12 years, and this is the first reefer trailer I've had. So I, if you're looking at the listing, I'm very confident you'll have more knowledge on this than I will. All righty, we're gonna zoom out real quick. Full picture of the unit. And we're gonna open the engine doors, take a quick peek in there. So it's a Yanmar diesel engine. Aside from pushing the button to start it, I really know nothing about it. It says it has 9,900 hours. The current temperature is down to 53, 52 degrees. And the outside temperatures in the upper 80s. Um, we had this last week. We had it down to five degrees above when we just turned it off. So it is a uh, nice chill box there. All right. I thank all of you for watching our our video. I wish all of you luck with bidding on the trailer. If you have any questions, I would prefer if you asked before the auction. And good luck to all.